Okay, now we're going to go through a service provider demo. The purpose of this demonstration is to really demonstrate the different types of injectors and how objects are created as singletons or separate instances that have component or subtree component scope, etc. So we're going to go through a wide variety of scenarios. Basically, what we have is we have a, um, a root component, which uh, is the dark area here. And it has a child component, which is the light sky blue. And the child component has a grandchild um, component, which, um, which, it, which um, also um, is a child, is a leaf in the UI component tree, let's say. Okay, so you got parent, uh, in, in its parent, parent a component template has a child selector tag in it. The child component template has a grandchild selector in it. So looking at the templates of these, this UI component tree, you could see parent-child, grandchild relationship. You could see um, a picture what the UI component tree looks like. Okay. And so what we're doing is, first of all, we have different types of, of, of ways to define, um, uh, configure a provider. You could configure it in the app module root. You could configure it at a component level, which which basically is really a subtree component level, or you could um, you could do other things, which we'll take a look at. Okay, so just to show you what I'm trying to do is, um, so let's let's suppose we start out from the beginning, right? We got the uh, a, a root injector, the app module, and we're going to provide a service in root. That is, we configure the service in um, in the root using annotations and an injectable and basically um, based on that we know that it's going to be a singleton service and what we do is we inject that into uh, the root component the child component and the grandchild component so they could all access it we inject those into the constructors of those components because those that's the only place you could really inject it well uh, I better be careful saying that, but let's let's assume that from a high high level Angular perspective, you inject um, providers into uh, constructors. So, so what happens with this application is the um, the the root application, the application module, we configure the um, a provider, which is a service, and I'm calling it customer service at the app module level. And there's two ways to do that, and I'll show you that. Um, one is not tree shakeable, where you list a provider in the meta, metadata in the ng module um, annotation. And the other way is to do the new Angular 6 way, is do a provide and root using an injectable. And in that case, you don't have to edit the code in the app module, but at the same time, you basically have a tree shakeable service. Okay, so when you do that, um, what I've done is I've created this service and I've injected it into this UI component tree into each one of these components. And basically what I've done is I have the ability, um, um, it, it, and when I construct the components, um, what you see, um, what happens is in the constructor of the parent co uh, root component, I basically define uh, the info to be app component info, and then I go get that information, put it in a state variable, and I render it on the front end. So this app component info is what happens during the constructor phase, okay? And same with the child component and the grandchild component. Um, but now at this point, after I went down that tree and I've actually uh, set the service data to uh, at the end the grandchild component basically what happens is it's a singleton object so now that service has that state grandchild component info and so um, uh, if I do something like this it's using the singleton instance and it's getting the grandchild component info now if I set um, the service info at this child level and then I get the info at this child level. It says new info set in child app service. And I'm, when I say in child app service, I mean we have a reference to the singleton object and I just set the info from the child, okay? So now if I get it up here, it's the child. If I, if I get it over here, it's the child. Um, and so I'm using a singleton object. Um, I do a set, I do a get, 
get get and and basically the state of the service is being shared because it's a singleton there's only one instance throughout the whole application okay so let me just refresh this okay and let me just show you um, uh, the log file Okay, so there's some interesting things that happen here. First, notice um, the uh, constructors, okay? The app constructor gets in created, gets in called. The instance is getting created. Its, its template is getting rendered. It sees the app, uh, the app child component selector tag. Then it has to construct the child component con uh, and it calls the, uh, the child component constructor. The child component basically um, has a template and in there is an app grandchild tag selector. So basically, uh, Angular says, okay, instantiate that component. So there's a sequence of things going on here, but then after that, we initialize the app component, we initialize the child component, we initialize the grandchild component. Notice there's one instance of a customer service up here. Because I've logged it in the constructor. So we're validating on our front end, we're validating in the log file, that, that's basically what's happening. Okay, so let's take a look at the code real quick. Okay, so basically what I wanted to show you, let me, let me start here. I created a service, I imported injectable, I defined this injectable up here, and I did a provided in root. So basically, there's, there's two ways to view this. First of all, one, these classes can be all over the place. I could be providing them in root or in different modules. Bottom line is they're tree shakeable. It's the preferred way to do this in Angular 6. Secondly, it's hard to tell what services are provided where because if you look at the app module, um, you can't tell that this service is associated with it. Uh, okay, so, so basically we're using this new method of provide in. Now notice I got a get info and a set info, and basically um, the constructor uh, basically takes uh, I originally had the name in the constructor, but but in here we're just uh, getting info and setting info on the uh, service, and and basically the info uh, uh, has uh, the class has an attribute called info, and I could get and set its state. So if I set it and it's a single instance, then when I go to get it, I'm going to get that state. And that's why we get the behavior on the front end. Um, I, I think uh, I might have uh, uh, did something here I didn't need. Uh, I originally was putting it in the constructor. So let's move, remove that. OK, so. Um, so now, if you look at the module, the module doesn't have the provider tag in the ng module. So there's no, oh, the provider tag is right here, but it's empty, okay? So if we put the customer service here, it would have been the same effect, but it would have not have been a tree shakeable, which means the only way, the only time the code is included in my bundle is if I use it, okay? So let's take a look at, about using it. Okay, so let's look at the app component. <coughs> okay, so, excuse me. So basically, let's look at the app component. So basically, um, what we have is um, an app component that injects the customer service into the constructor and I set the info to be app component info. And then I get the info and I define the info variable in my component instance to that value. Now I have a set service info, a get service info. I could basically um, set and get the value and I could change the, the input to what I'm setting in, in the component. And then I go get, and I, I redefine 
info attribute. So loosely speaking, the component template has an instance variable called info, and I could get and set it by going and, retrie and using the reference to the customer service and changing the state in my app component. And I could do the same thing for all the other components. They're implemented the same way. Okay, so, so let's look at the template. Now the template is going to uh, say welcome to some title using the interpolation directive, but also I use the same directive to show the info attribute of the instance. So I say parent info is equal to some value. Now notice when I set, I set uh, the app component service data. And when I go to get it, I go to get the value. So this this um, this directive here um, uh, binds uh, the click uh, event to the method invocation inside the component instance. Okay, now I do the same thing for all the other um, all the other components in the UI component tree. Now let's look at the UI component tree. I have an app component. I have an app child here. The app child selector is right here. Now I didn't list this as a provider. Let me just remove it to make things more clear here. There's no other provider statements in the application. Okay. And, and once again, uh, the template here is the same thing. I get and set info and the child info, I could display the info. And we look at grandchild, uh, oh, let, let's look at the template once more here. I have an app grandchild selector. So now when I look at the grandchild, uh, I do have the app grandchild selector. Same thing in the component, same, same code. I want control of my different state. Uh, I want the reference to that singleton object. And so basically, um, I get the effect that I need. I have a product a directory here I'm not using, but that's for lazy loaded modules. We'll talk about that later. So to make a long story short, I get an app component, which has three custom components. And it's root component, child component, grandchild component. I have no provider set here. But I do have a customer service which is provided in root. So it, it, it's almost just like putting the, the provider here uh, as customer service. With one exception, it's tree shakeable. So I don't put it there. I just define it in my customer service here. And now what I'm doing is I'm proving um, that each one of these components are using the uh, each of these components are using the same instance it's a singleton instance that's it's a service which is configured at the root injector therefore it's a singleton therefore you can get data and you get the data that that particular component each one of these components in this UI component tree is sharing a single instance set get 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 okay so it's clear crystal clear singleton object singleton object um, all three the UI component tree is sharing them because I am injecting them into the um, constructor okay now we, we could we can we can go a little further um, but, but that's really all I wanted to show you for the singleton. I'm trying to keep it simple. Uh, so, so, so we'll move on to different examples. And as an aside, let's just take a look at this. Let's go back to app component. Template. Let's add another app child here. Let's just see what happens.
Okay, so uh, if you if you see, uh, I guess the first thing to to notice in the log file that there's only one constructor of the service that's getting invoked. But you could see that if I set info and get it here, grandchild, I could I could actually um, get it over here. I could get it over here. I could get it over here. They're all using the same instance. But but um, let's just let's just show you in the log file. Uh, the 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 um, the fact that there is only one customer service constructor that's getting invoked. Okay, so I don't want to make this too complicated, but just keep in mind when I think of singleton objects, I think of pub sub uh, services, I think of. Uh, um, application uh, loading a service with some some data some startup data and basically with that startup data mm -hmm. I could inject it in any component and whole UI component tree and show drop down lists and other mm -hmm. types of things but 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 there's other ways to do that that are more efficient with lazy loaded modules there's there's um, data resolvers there's other types of things so let's just move on to the next video we're gonna focus on um, uh, uh, the component annotation and defining a provider in a component and looking at component scope of a service provider.